Some familiar names are starting to campaign for an open seat at ca uh, city council seat, that is, at Kansas City City Hall. Chris Hernandez has an early look at what will be a hotly contested race. In the last city council election, Kathy Jolly got the most votes of any citywide candidate. But she's now decided to serve only one term and won't run again. People are starting to jump into this race to replace her, including her husband. Scott Taylor is a two-term member of the Center School Board and also serves on the Combat Commission. He says his experience as a trade attorney will help economic development. Understand uh, what it takes to create an atmosphere for job creation. He's also current council member Kathy Jolly's husband and is running to replace her. Taylor says it's not a wife-to-husband handoff. I am uh, Mr. Taylor, not Mr. Jolly, although some people have called me Mr. Jolly in the past. Jolly was supporting State Rep. Jason Holzman as her replacement, but when Holzman dropped out, Taylor got in. I actually uh, served for the city before Kathy. I was the appointed by Mayor Barnes to serve as chair of the Liquor Control Commission. In 2007, chiropractor Chuck Eddy ran for mayor, placing 7th of 12. He had served two previous terms on the city council. It's the image of the city right now. It's the, the lack of confidence people have in coming back to Kansas City. That has to be restored. Another candidate is former librarian and current state rep Michael Brown. He's been on the state's economic development team. So I'm looking forward to helping, if possible, with Kansas City's uh, programs uh, of economic development, job creation, and then and then solving some of the budget issues that we might be facing in the future. You'll notice Tracy Ward's pink hair as she campaigns. We couldn't reach her today, but her Facebook page indicates she supports phasing out the earnings tax and cutting council pay in half. The Casey Mo primary election for mayor and city council will be February 22nd. These are nonpartisan races, so then the top two move on to the general election a month later in March 2011. Candidates can still follow the run until January. Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News.